Hello everybody and welcome to Alien Isolation. This is another game that a lot of people really wanted me to play because one, it's spooky scary, and two, a lot of people really wanted me to play it so that I can review it and let people know what I think about it. Uh, and honestly, this was a game I got right upon its release because I really wanted to play it and I actually wanted to review it. I just haven't had time to do it with everything else that's going on right now, to be honest, but I'm finally making time for it. And I'm finally playing it because it is spooky scary and to help improve the scary factor I've got my headphones on they're cheap headphones I got them from a flea market for like ten dollars so not like super fancy surround sound ones or whatever but anyway to kind of get you up to speed what's going on um I skipped through and I didn't skip I played through the first hour or so of the game and I'm not going to show that because nothing happens I just now finally got to the point part the point where the alien has finally showed its ugly head uh, and by ugly head, I mean the alien showed its ugly tail, where it stabbed a man through the chest and killed him. Uh, who, quite frankly, deserved it. So, now that the alien is actually a factor in the game, I'm going to show you guys the gameplay of it. And got a lot of spooky sounds right now. I'm trying to make my way towards a communications tower to try to contact the ship that I arrived in to let them know, sweet Jesus Christ, there's an alien here. Get me the fuck out. But of course, everything's like broken and stuff, so I have to like slowly find a way to repair it. So, this is where I'm at. I don't really super know where I'm supposed to go, but I'm down in the maintenance area, and this seems like a good place to start when there are broken things. I'm loving the atmosphere in this game. They really captured the aesthetic of the alien movies, where like everything is future. But it's like retro future, like how the 70s thought the future would look like. So they don't have like flat screen, like yeah, like right here. Like they don't have flat screen monitors or whatever. It's always like monochrome computer monitors and whatnot. What's happening in here, by the way? It's raining a lot. Some kind of generator room, perhaps? Don't actually think it can do anything in here, though. Sounds like it's raining. Is it raining inside the ship? Better. Probably shouldn't be sprinting, but what else? Since sprinting and making noise just attracts the alien. Reactor cooler plant? What are my other options? Ah, let's try the cooler plant. Fuck it. Uh, that looks like a gate that I can't get past. Unless... Nope. I don't have an ion torch. I have a wrench. And it's a space wrench, so it's like half wrench, half hammer. The future is upon us. Double tools. Maybe I can't do anything here. Am I in the wrong area, perhaps? What the hell was that? What? I saw something move. No, no, no. No, 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 no. Go on. Go. Stay away from here. Oh, there's people? I did not expect people to be here. That just kind of threw me for a loop. Oh shit, oh shit, yep. Well. I'm in trouble. Can I sneak around? Also, there are crazy people here. Well, not crazy, just people desperate to survive. And desperate people like to murder everyone. Which means I may need to bonk them in the back of the head with my space hammer wrench. Okay. This is like the first moment of actual tension I've felt in this game so far. Like without it being like a scripted event or whatever. I gotta find someone to get around this guy. It looked like he was by himself though. So if I can just sneak up on him and bonk him on the head. We're wasting our time. Okay! Ow! Ow! Oh, there's two. There, there were two people. Damn it. Okay, let's try that again. I was sneaky, though. I snuck up on him. I just didn't think there was going to be a second person. Where did I last save? 
all the way back here. Find an elevator to the Seeks and Communications. Okay. Mm. Habitation Tower. I haven't been there yet, I don't think. Let's try going there. Screw that place. I don't want to mess with them right now. This game has a very classic uh, save system where it doesn't have an autosave at all. You have save points throughout the entire game and you have to use them to actually save the game. And if you don't use them and you die, well, you're going all the way back to your previous save. No autosave at all. I can see a lot of people not liking that because it's not forgiving at all. I kind of like it. It actually reminds me a lot of uh, older PC games or horror games in general. Where you just had to use whatever save points they were allowing you to have instead of saving whenever you want. That way if you're about to do something stupid, you had to think about the repercussions. You can't just like save, then do the stupid thing, and then reload and just be like, Alright, I won't do that. You actually have to think about, I want to do the stupid thing, but do I really want to replay the last 20 minutes because I haven't saved in a while? I like that. That's different. Right, I'm going to the Habitation Tower. I don't think I've been this way yet. Let's go! Okay, I think I'm finally making progress. I made my way back to the main lobby area and I'm trying to find the elevator. And there's definitely people in here. Along with the Hubble telescope? I don't know. Oh. Stay back. How'd you see me or hear me when you weren't even looking? Probably sh Over here. Someone's here. You should be shooting a super loud gun when there's a pissed off alien on board. Right? That's what will save me? The alien will come and kill her for me? Oh, maybe not. She's just trying to get in here for some reason. Oh, look at all these things I could use! Like, access to an access tuner, I guess. She was trying to hack the elevator's security. Circuits are fried. Easy fix. Wow. Is it just me or are those some of the finest looking thumbnails I've ever seen in a video game? Alright, I need to find a data cell to repair the security access tuner. Alright, not a problem. Oh, are they still pissed? Yeah. Maybe leave her alone. What else would I do? Wow, you guys are jumping to conclusions quite quickly. I'm just gonna go over here to the kitchens. See anything yet? Oh, I kind of like the concept of them always looking for me. That's kind of cool. Oh, I'll play chess. I haven't played chess in a long time. Can I open this door? Device invalid. Shit. Uh. Guess I'm heading back towards the super friendly people who only want to give hugs. Tech support. Ooh. Tech support, though. Ah, shit. Oh, fuck it. Oh, come on. Well, this is bad, isn't it? Alright. Yeah. Sprinting is loud. Oh. I gotta go back to my save. I don't think I saved in a while. Uh, yep, okay. I'll get us caught up. Don't worry. Alright, I'm back. Uh, I'm going a slightly different way than I did before. Checking inside of these vents. Very, very dark vents. Hello? Did that really do anything for me? It did not. Oh, but I can go around there to get past the security thing if I have a weapon. Which I don't have a weapon. Alright, so I'm back in this area though with the crazy lady. Where she... I guess she hears slash sees me no matter what. Yeah, that's kind of bullshit, isn't it? Guys! Over here! Someone's here! Alright, so I gotta grab that thing. An access to... 
she was trying to hack the elevator security. All right, I got this again. So it's a fried, easy fix. Just need to find a new data set. And then they're gonna be like, oh, let's find her. And I'm gonna hide next to these stairs so that they won't go past me. Finder, killer. That is the worst smile. This way. She was downstairs. Hmm? See anything yet? Just gotta stay quiet and stay in this corner. How did it end up like this? There's no. Oh, there's a security camera. You don't see me. Keep walking forward. This place falls apart more every day. Ah! Oh, I'm good. <laughs> well, I got him separated, though. I may need to bonk one in the back of the head. Do you think we should? Hey. Ow! Shit! Dicks! Ah! Ow! <laughs> Damn it! I was gonna bog him by the head. This is hard. I'm playing on hard too, by the way. The game actually suggested you should start on hard. And if you go anything lower than that, then you're a total bitch. And I don't wanna be a bitch. So, I am playing on hard. I will continue to play on hard. I refuse to go to a lower difficulty. Because hard may sound like that, that's how the game is supposed to be played. And I'm going to follow the game's wishes. Alright. No, don't shoot. Shit. Oh, it makes you like automatically duck when she does that. Guys, over here. Someone's here. Okay. Let's grab this. She was trying to hack the elevator security. Circuits are fried. Easy fix. Again, those thumbnails look so good. I'm gonna try taking the very long way all the way around. Okay. We find her, kill her. There's three of them? This way. She was downstairs. This will probably be harder than I thought. Can I open these? Nope. See anything yet? Ah! Oh. Nailed it! <laughs> Do you see how brave I was just now? Oh, I think they're pissed. Hold on. And we're running. I think she went downstairs. Come on. All right. I I'm not going down there. No way. Why won't you come down here? She's got your hack tool. Why don't you want to come down work. here? We'll find another way out. We've been here too long already. Is there? Is it because there's an alien? You don't want to come down here? Well, they're not chasing me, at least. Okay. So I've got the hack tool. I just need to find the data circuit or whatever to fix it, and then I can hack some stuff. That'll be neat. Can I hide these garbage chutes, or...? No. Nothing really down here. Doesn't seem like it. All right. But this way is tech support, and if I'm going to fix some things... Definitely want some tech support. Oh, got a vent there. Good to know. Wouldn't mind having a save point right about now. I can't remember the last time I played a game like this with headphones on. Playing with headphones really does completely change the experience in terms of immersion and making it spookier slash scarier slash better. Because a lot of times when things are scary, it's because of the sound more than anything else. This game actually has some pretty good sound design to make it sound like something's always moving out around there. Yeah, look at this guy. I don't think you're supposed to push that button. Don't do it. Although I will say, these cheap headphones I bought for $10 at a flea market aren't the most comfortable things in the world. They kind of already hurting my ears. I need better ones. 
Hey! Is I hearing alien noises? Maybe. Let me continue with my joke. If you would like to help get Pro Jared a better pair of headphones, like, comment, subscribe. That'll do it. Okay. Let's continue moving forward. There's security cameras there, but I don't think they really matter all that much. Right? Maybe. Alright. Maybe they will later. I don't think they're big threat right now. Device and down. Damn it, I can't get in. Alright, let me go try that vent. Maybe I can use that to get on the other side of this door. <sighs> it's a good thing even people in the future know how to make vents people-sized. Yeah. Yeah. Also, amazingly clean. Not a whole lot of dust in space. So, you can look forward to that in the future. Who would leave their stuff here? It's a compound. Hello? Let's go in a circle. I feel like I went in a circle. I know there's supposed to be tech support for a new data cell somewhere in that area, but I can't really get in anywhere. All these doors are locked. They don't have enough vents going around to let me in. This is a secret passageway through one of these lockers. This day, that door was locked. Is there a, nope. Oh, hey. I'm glad I went back here. Yep. Okay. Shit just got real. Ooh, and a key card. I like how the key card is actually hidden underneath the paper a little bit, so it wasn't just blatantly blinking out in the open. So then. Ugh. I'm bird arrows. Oh, it takes a long time to get an accurate shot. I dig that. Okay, so can I use this key card to open up some of these areas? Actually, I should try this door up here first. So I think this one just had a key card lock. Yep. Oh. Ha! Okay. I'm actually making some progress now. Feeling pretty good. Keep vigilant for spills, or God will smite you. Also, God is black. Keep this gun ready in case there's a dude. Hey, are you okay? Oh god. He's fine. Hey, a flare. Thank you. Got any other stuff around here that I should know about? Oh, flashbang blueprint. Yeah, flashbangs. I should make the one of those right away to mess up those people. I don't have a key card for this one though. It looks like an important clean room, so a thing I need is probably in there. That's how video games work. Oh god. The flight recorder. What does that mean? What? 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 Sun triangle triangle? No data! Uh, plant, uh, hand, hand. No. A uh, arrow, squiggly, triangle. None of these work. Fuck you. It's your fault, flight recorder. Stay focused. Oh wow, I can really hear the fear in her voice. Wait, what? Why were you locking down? Uh oh. I wasn't entirely paying attention. Why was it a security lockdown? Was it because there's an alien? Because now it's playing tense music.
uh... Well, I'm just gonna... Say, if I wanted to make a flashbang, could I do that right now? Uh, duh. Uh, give me one of those. Uh, I don't have any sensors. Shit. Uh, uh, what else can I make? Uh, 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 flares? I got three flares yet, though. Okay. How do I switch my weapon? Alright, spooky noises. Not so much fearing dying as I am having to go back and play again. Again, that checkpoint system. Device invalid. Dicks. Okay. Let's go find a new device then. Whatever. As soon as I figure out how I can go about doing that. Uh, does this just go back and forth if I use this? Yup. Yeah. Does that do anything for you? Oh, it's gotta move. I gotta move all of these. Okay. Don't even have the orange lights on them. Is there a uh, green on the back of you guys at all? Just looking for greens. Green is good. Can I squeeze through here? No. Nope. Hello? Someone open the door. Why is I just not paying attention? Oh man. People in the comments are gonna be pissed because I am clearly missing some obvious clue that I am just not seeing or paying attention to. Oh, oh, do you sell? I got it. So. Yeah. And now I can hack my way out. Everything's fine. Everything's great. Let's try this thing out. Uh, tune into the code system with mouse and use move keys and E to enter the code shown. Okay, so let's see here. If I was a... Oh, 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 we got a little bit. Uh, what am I looking at? Oh, I got it. Oh, cool. 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 Neat. Ah, hmm, hmm, hmm. It's kind of a neat hack system, not gonna lie. I like that. Just takes a bunch of weird shapes and jumps them all together and you have to figure out what shape goes where. And of course, I'm still in this area where people are pissed. Let's go ahead and hack this one. Da. Boop. And a weird E thing and a Pokeball. Got it. Hacking made easy, thanks to science. Locker to hide in, some empty box. ID tag, which is just a collectible, doesn't really have no bearing on the gameplay. Oh, and uh, audio log. Can I go ahead and say that I am so over audio logs? Ever since Bioshock 1 did them. Ugh. I mean, I. They're probably going to be used for, like, ever now, because it's a good way to give plot without making people read. People hate reading, so they do audio logs that you can't really skip over. I didn't pay attention to that at all. I know they was pissed about the flight recorder being empty. Smoke bomb. Ooh. Yes! Yes! Yeah. ID tech. Okay, now all I want to do is get out of here and find a save point, because I've done quite a bit. There should be a save point coming up here, thankfully. Yes, save. Okay.
All right. All right, so I think we're gonna end the video here, but I am gonna keep playing this because I... I'm not that far into it and I do want to keep playing. I want to actually get against the alien and I am enjoying it now that I've got a gun and things are actually going quite smoothly. So, if you want to see myself play some more Alien Isolation, which I think I will, maybe I'll continue this past Halloween. Uh, who knows? I guess it's cool. Uh, some more Alien Isolation. Just let me know in the comments. Let me know if there's other spooky scary games that you think I should play or other games that I haven't played that I can play the Never Play channel. Let me know. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you next time.